a look, and it's Kevin McSwain. I've seen the movie several times, pretty funny. Um, and I know that it's C, a Coke bottle. And you want to make it your final answer? Yes, you got it right for $64,000. Thank you very much, everybody. Good evening and welcome to Tuesday Night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. A Sunday night, Kevin McSwain won $64,000 because he knew that in that movie, The Gods Must Be Crazy, a Coke bottle was thought to be a gift from God. Now, the movie's 20 years old with no major stars, and yet Kevin remembered that Coke bottle, and it made him a lot of money. So tonight, he's back and going for $125,000. How are you feeling? I'm ready. Are you? Yeah. Yep. Kevin is from uh, Carolina Beach, uh, North Carolina. Uh, your teacher's assistant there, accompanied by your brother Bryn. Nice to see you guys. And what you did doing? you two do last night here in New York? Just went down to Times Square, had some dinner. Really? Where'd you eat? Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood. Ah, oh, good for you. And how was it? It was okay. <laughs> Guess you weren't I particularly wasn't overwhelmed, too terribly were you? Impressed. No, 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 of course. You're from Carolina Beach. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, then you went home? Oh, went back to the hotel. Got a good night's sleep. You're on the verge of winning a million dollars. You know that, right? Wow. What do you think? <laughs> now, your grandmother gave you a good luck charm. Yes, she did. What was it? This little necklace right here. My uh, grandfather wore this on uh, sorties across the English Channel as a uh, fighter pilot during World War II. Uh-huh. And came back and... Uh, was in good shape, so she's hoping you'll come back and be in good shape, too. That's what That's she's nice. hoping. Well, good luck to you, Kevin. You uh, have won the 64000 like we said. You're just four questions away now from winning $1 million. You have two of your lifelines left, 50-50, and you can phone a friend. If you want to play along with uh, Kevin, then go to abc.com right now and click on to our enhanced TV game. I think you'll enjoy it. Ready to go, Kevin? I'm certainly ready. Ready, audience? Yeah, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. Here it is now for $125,000. Popular in the 1970s and in the 1980s, Chisenbaum is a method of teaching what? Reading, arithmetic, handwriting, music. That word means precisely nothing to me. Yeah. And I grew up in the 70s and 80s. Yes. Well, you're 26. I am. Um, yeah, I was not given that method at all. So let's take away two of those answers, please. Let's use our 50 50 level. Why do we do that? Computer, take away two of those wrong answers for Kevin. still completely clueless as to what that could possibly be so well uh, well all right I, 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 if you don't have any idea you don't have any idea you want to take a guess you want to call somebody probably ought to call somebody what do you think i'm thinking uh my uh friend john would be a good person to call and why would john be a good person to call? well he's a former teacher of mine he uh he's a little bit older all right good maybe he'll remember huh? yeah, all so. right at and we need john on the line John? Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How about yourself? Good. I'm, I'm pretty good. We're sitting here with Kevin, and he is uh, returning to an old teacher for help. Yeah, is he behaving himself? Yeah, he had a wonderful time in Planet Hollywood last night, and, uh, and uh, sitting here, he's all full now, and he wants to win a lot of money. Okay. He's already won 64000 He's going for 125000 right now, okay? Okay. So he'll come on the line and read the question of the four answers. All right. all right, Kevin, it's all yours. 30 seconds, and they start now. Okay. Hi, John. Hey. Popular in the 1970s and 1980s, Chisenbop is a method of teaching what? B, 
B, arithmetic, or D, music? Arithmetic or music? You have 20 seconds. Arithmetic. Arithmetic, you're sure? Yes. You demand. OK. How are things? Pretty good. 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 You're positive. C-H-I-S-A-N-B-O-P. Yes, it was on TV. Oh. We, we'd see it advertised on TV when I was a kid. Sweet. So, Thanks. Yeah, you can blame me, but go OK. <laughs> Sounds pretty sure. Hey, you sound pretty positive. So, um, hey, why not? Final answer? My final answer is he said arithmetic, right? <laughs> oh, guess what? It's arithmetic. You want $125,000. In case you're interested, it means finger calculation. Uh, it's a figure calculation method in Korea. See, as, <laughs> as the money goes up, sort of the questions become a little more difficult. But you're going for $250,000 now, Kevin. Ready? Yeah. Here it is. What is the name of Jupiter's largest moon? Ganymede? Io? Callisto? Europa? Jupiter's largest moon. All four of these are moons of Jupiter, I believe. I think. I am leaning toward uh, Io. But just want to remind you, it's $93,000 if you lose. And there's no way on Earth I'm going to risk that. Absolutely not. No. Yeah, so I guess we're going to, as we say, where I'm from, I reckon I ought to hop on down. Back to Carolina yeah. Beach, huh? $125,000 richer. Well, is that your final decision? My final decision is to walk away. Yes. All right, you thought it might be I.O.? I think it's I. Let's take a look. No, it was Ganymede. So you I did left. the right thing, my man, $125,000. Well, here it is, big guy. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Nice to have you at the show. Maybe if we ask the question about planet Hollywood instead of the planet Jupiter, Kevin might still be in that hot seat. But hey, $125,000, a lot of money for just a few minutes' work. Now let's meet 10 people who are happy for Kevin but want their chance at the million dollars.